Hey, my name's Graham. I'm at Rimmage Music here in Bolton, and today I've got the Nord Electro 6 HP Hammer Action. <laughs> just one of the organ sounds that it's got. So what have we got here? We've got a 73 note weighted key hammer action Nord Electro 6 HP. You've got uh, three different sections on it. It's absolutely brilliant. You can have six different split points in it. You can layer sounds. It's only 11.4 kilograms. So if you go and gig in, it's fantastic for that. But let's go through some of the sounds. So let's just take the organ sounds off for the moment. It's really simple to operate and design with the gigging musician in mind or the home enthusiast. So basically you've got nothing on at the moment and you've got three buttons here. One in the organ section, one in the piano section and one in the sample synth section. This at this side is your effects. So like you've got a couple of effects, an out simulator, an EQ section and also a reverb. So Let's start with the piano section in the middle. You literally press that button on there and what you get? Some beautiful piano sounds. That's just one of them. So you can easily adjust the volume by turning the level knob, like this. You can change the octave, and you can easily change through the sounds by simply turning this knob. There's a little screen there that tells you which one it is. So that was Royal Grand 3D, or you've got Velvet Grand, Imperial, Studio, and it just, it just keeps going. There's, lo there's loads of these. You've got upright pianos as well. Keep going, you've got a baby ground. You've got mellow right, saloon, honky tonk, and you get some beautiful electric pianos. that you like, you can save them into memories. And the feel of the keyboard is absolutely brilliant. Let's just take you back to one of the grand pianos. The sampling that um, Nord put into it is absolutely second to none. Listen. Massive tonal changes. sustain they even sample all the damper effects and everything it just sounds really really real I really like this product I think it's brilliant now if I just turn that off 
there's now nothing on my keyboard. I could use it as a controller keyboard as well. It's got great connectivity with MIDI and everything. You control fast and slow tremolo, for example, on your or rotary speaker on your foot switch. You can connect all sorts of things to it. What it actually comes with, by the way, while we're just talking about that, is it comes with its manual and it comes with its mains lead. But you can buy additional pedals that just plug into the back. It's got two holes there for a music rest that you can buy as an optional extra as well. So if you do want those things, you can add them to it. But its default is just brilliant as it is at <laughs> the keyboard itself. Lovely red finish as well, I love it. The nice wooden panels on the end that are all like red and with a little green in it. It looks quality and is quality. It feels really solid as well. So if we just pop that off, if we go to the sample section, uh, synth section, which is just here, what that basically means is you roll this sound. So like strings. Now what you can do is it's got some really easy uh, like little knobs here that you can alter things with. So for example, you've got your attack there that you can alter as you're playing. So if I have it on nil, it's a very fast attack. <laughs> if I put it over to eight, it's a slow attack. Decide where that is and how fast it builds up. From a sustain point of view, when you use it with your pedals, you can press your notes down, it will hold those notes on to your let go, or you can set the, what they call the release, which basically means it doesn't end straight away. It's like a sustain thing. Now remember, that's just one sound that I've just been altering. Just little bits, just to show you what it can do. I think it's how I can now lay those two sounds together. So, for example, I can press my piano on, and I've got my piano on at the same time. And I can go strings a bit loud, so I can simply alter the level there with this knob just to get it exactly how I want it. Really, really simple. So if I just turn that off and just go back to my piano for a moment, I'm just going to show you some of the effects. So, first of all, you've got uh, EQ. So you've got a bass, a couple of mid sweeps, and a treble. So you can make it really bright. I'll turn that down. I'll make it really mellow instantly. Or you can turn that off and just leave it as its default. You've got two effects. Uh, so if I just pick one of those, so let's say we go to a tremolo. And we can decide how much we have on that. decide how fast that does it and how fast or slow and get it exactly how you want it just turn that off and you can apply that to different sections it's up to you which, which section you put it in we can have effect two so in this case it's set to phaser Speed that up. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, if I turn the right up. <laughs> and you can make it deep, or you can make it very slight and balance that in exactly how you want it. Just to remind you how the piano sound actually sounds. Add the phaser. <laughs> really good effect. And it's dead easy. You, while you're live, you can literally pop that on, pop it off. Just a knob if it's not quite how you want it. Really, really simply. Uh, at the end here, we've got, uh, sorry, just before the end here, we've got uh, delay. So what we can do is you can do a tap delay and decide how fast it is or just move the knob to wherever you want it. I set this to a very short delay like that. So you get. <laughs> but you can set that, you can make it fast or slow or whatever. You know, loads more going on, so it's just going do, 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 forever. Oh, Amen. And you've got reverb at the end there, so we can have a dry sound. So, again, this is our piano dry. So, I just stop that. It's absolutely beautiful on its own, anyway. I tell you, really. Good. Now, if we put reverb on, we can put there like that. I've set that to a hole, and it just warms up the sound. Just switch those off and switch the organ section on. Now you've got different organs to choose from. So you've got a B3 with a fast and slow uh, Leslie effect, or what they have to call rotary speaker. Now what I'll do is I add actually the amp simulator on then. So I'll just turn that off and I'll just put it to the normal if it didn't have the amp simulator on. noises. So you can set this to get it exactly how you want it. Fabulous organ sound there. If you want pipe organs, you can flick it on to pipe organ. Just turn the uh, tremolo. Oh, actually, I've got distortion on there, sorry about that. We've got pipe organ too. You've got a uh, Hammond bass. You can split the keyboard so you get over the bass down there and an organ sound up here. You've got your Vox sounds. Just think it's brilliant. Take if you had a bit of reverb on. 
and you can really give it all that on it. But we will, I'll turn it back off, we'll go back to the piano sound just to show you what that sounds like. And I'll just play a little piece, and I've got the string set up here, ready to bring in. You can lock all these into memories and I'm ready to just rock and roll when you go. This is the Nord Electro 6 HP 73. It's it's just brilliant, and it's on our Rimmers Music little Rimmers Music website right now, so you can get one, and we'll just send it to you anywhere UK mainland with one of these couriers, and um, it, it's really really good. So um, if you want one, just order it on our website. If you're not already there, there's a link to take you to it, and. Um, if you need any help, just give us a call. We're here at we're Rivers Music. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully if you like my video, if you have, can you press like and share it? And hopefully we'll see you soon. We're one of these. <laughs> All the best. Bye.